Hi, this is Jim the Keys bartender. I'm coming to you from Key Largo at Moon Bay Condominiums. So uh, we didn't do anything. You know what? We didn't do anything offensive or anything. It's beautiful here. So if I think the only problem, any, I don't think anybody would have a problem. It's a beautiful setting here to really do that. And I'm here with Joel and Gabby uh, that live part of the year here in Key Largo and the rest of the year in Spain. Uh, so, and, and you are both, uh, if, if they're uh, avid listeners, you'll know that you're uh, non-practicing at this time. Uh, retired. I, I, I don't like to say retired because that, mean, that may means it's over. Well, you're currently retired. Uh, currently retired. Who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? I was watching Mine Hunters uh, from you, and maybe, <laughs> maybe you'll get back into the fold and things like that. And those you know what are, I have? A, those guys are nuts. I knew those guys. I, you know. Talking about a patient, I have people I work with on the podcast, and some of the people get on the show, and it's not you, it, I'm not referring to you, but one of our semi-regulars, he was in the bar, and he knows I write down things. Yeah. And he said something and wrote it down. Then he walked over my book and he wrote in my book. <laughs> I, I know I don't, uh, I don't rate or require the same respect as a psychologist, but I do expect a certain amount of propriety. I mean, don't write in my book. You can write it, bring your own fucking book if you want to write into it. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm going to say, and I'm going to, but it's funny. Boundaries, but he say. did, he did pick a, a good thing. So I'm going to say he, uh, his name rhymes with Slami. Okay, I won't yeah. say any further. So if you can, and it, he's been on the show. So he told me we were talking about women, and he, uh, I said, what attracts a woman? And he was saying, I was talking about someone rather famous. And I thought they were very attractive. And he said, well, I got to look at her feet. Yeah. If you're not a fetish necessarily, because I didn't get a chance to ask him if he would do anything with the, with the feet or anything like that. He, he has to do with how they take care of their feet. Yeah. So I guess any native, anybody that doesn't wear shoes or things like that, they're definitely out in a book there. Definitely in danger. Yeah, yeah. But he, he says he, the first thing he checks out when he can if yeah. they're not wearing shoes is how they yeah. take care of their feet. I'm an upper arm man myself. What are you talking about? Like they're, what kind of upper muscle? Arm. Yeah, yeah. I mean the tone, the, mm -hmm. I don't know, the proportion. The proportion? Yeah, the color. I mean, to, to what? The proportion the to the rest of the body? Yeah. And, uh, okay, so I mean the lady, let's say a carnival, someone in a carnival and they're a larger woman, if the arm's proportional to the rest of the body, it's no big deal. Well, I don't know until I you know, it's proportional. See it. I mean, proportional? It's, <clears throat> no. It's not like I, don't, I have control over this. How about if here? someone that had like, so if your biceps were fine and they had the forearms of, let's say, Popeye. Yeah, like I mean, Popeye, it, like they were four yeah. times the size of them. I'm upper arm. Not, I know, but you yeah. you would totally exclude, let's say their biceps are fine, but they do have yeah, huge not, forearms. Yeah, they don't play a leading role. Yeah. I mean, the, you know, the. Uh, the uh, no, but forearm. it doesn't matter. The forearm doesn't. Negate yeah, whatever's not, going. No, no, no. Doesn't no. matter how big the forearm is. No, no. Uh, some some guys are uh, leg men. Some guys are breast men. So if there's like a real lean man, person, if yeah, someone has man. a real lean arm, like stick arms, you would. Well, again, I have to. Well, if they're proportion, proportional, you said. Well, that's one. Well, I was giving an example: proportion, tone, color. Uh, you know, well, that's a, you zone in on one spot. You look for the uh, um, the biceps, the upper arm. I think that's the what I've been arm, saying. The tricep. That's yeah. the one spot you look at for first. Whenever you see it. a woman walks up in, in, in a, a revealing bathing suit, uh, you look at the first thing you hone in on are her upper arms. Any bathing suit. Well, whatever. Let's say not wearing anything. And the first thing you'll see in is... In Spain, a, like in Spain. You'll see, yeah. Every beach is topless. Okay, you, but you will well, see... I go immediately to upper arm. Upper arm? Yeah. Okay. Can, I, can we just close in here a little bit? Because... Closer. And I don't, I don't have to push this. Or no, you don't have to push okay. that. Um, 
Is this something new that I didn't know about you all these years? No, how long have you been? How long have you been together? Been We've been together since 1996 or 97. Something. We, I haven't. I didn't actually posit that as an idea that we would broach our interest in the parts of the body. I just was matching with this particular man's yeah. uh, statement. So yeah. it was interesting. You made that revealing. Yeah. You revealed that in, yeah, on the show. You didn't know I interpret it. What? He's making fun of the whole thing. He's making fun of the whole idea that some men are tip right. men, ass, uh, mouth. Oh, hold it closer. That, that's how I interpret what you're saying. Is that is that what you meant? No reality. Because I didn't, I didn't, I, I actually, I didn't even, seriously. I didn't even pose mine. Because <laughs> actually, mine is the whole. I, I check out the whole demeanor. Uh-huh. I used to be, perhaps. That way, but you get, check out the demeanor of the person, whether sure. they're approachable to, mm. to even um, want to be recognized. You mean whole, how's that? Body language, the demeanor, whole, or they're, they're after, they're, what do you mean? By acknowledging demeanor? someone, acknowledging the whole gestalt. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. To acknowledge, I, I know, I, I think I actually just said something differently. I think you may misinterpret that. I said whether they, they were open, open to being acknowledged. How's that? Receptive, open. Oh, see, you're. I, I'm not. I'm not trying to pick up anybody. I'm just saying, if I'm mm-hmm. looking at mm-hmm. anybody in particular, if they, uh, if I recognize them, if they, if they want to be acknowledged at all. Mm-hmm. See, just so you know how some people, where you see handicapped people and homeless people, they don't even look at them. Mm-hmm. You know, and she's and, much more evolved than I am, G. No, no. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. obviously, there are things that. You know, I'm, everyone, I'm, just, I'm sure that, no, Gabby, you he's, being... He's, I'm, he's, telling I'm you the tru- he's telling the truth, and you're uh, bullshitting, so... No, I'm not. So well, that's all right. Really well, compare. it's not... I'm a bullshitter. I'm a bullshitter, so <laughs> I, I should be open to that right there. I, I thought I, we were I, into but, something see, very interesting. Jim's, Jim's getting into the whole... And and he's he's more subjective than I am, and I'm I'm sort of objectifying the upper arms... You're objectifying the upper arms? Okay, yeah. got it. We'll, we'll, we I think can, we can end on that note. No, I mean... No? I mean, well, you want to talk more about it? Oh, well, no, since you broached that subject, I was just bringing it up as how you would... Um, <laughs> obviously, with Gabby, I'm sure there's, we're not... We, we do not live in a vacuum. If you see someone you find very attractive, you take note. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's, it's the... Um, Object, uh, uh, how do you say it? Objectification of people, of certain people. You know the old uh, cat calling mm-hmm. on the streets. You know where mm-hmm. there's a, a YouTube video out there with this young girl who was wearing tight pants and there's someone following her and videoing it, and they're just going. I don't know what neighborhood it is. It is relentless, mm-hmm. going continuous on there, and it's just a. Uh, just a litany of cat calls and things and I'm not saying I'm more evolved or anything like that I just where I grew up uh, there wasn't obviously if you're on there's a different I'm going to try to parse my words correctly on Duval Street when uh, whatever that uh, the the uh, elaborate woman that rides the uh, uh, Cadillac on certain big nights on the back of it you know I'm talking about the woman that's all dressed up she's a, a, she's a mem- member of the trans community and mm-hmm. she wants to be cheered. Mm-hmm. She's expecting to be cheered, you know, when she's going down the Vol Street on the back, of, sitting on the back of the there's, convertible cabin. There's catalog. some data, no. by the way. Just Let him see the time. No, but I'm no, just no, saying that, that if you allow it, if it's allow it, and you think the mob mentality where you're going to be able to do it, like whether you join in, whether you feel you have to join in, whether... Or whether you don't feel, you know, it's like part of it, how how strongly you resist doing something that, mm-hmm. that let's say, is doing. that the group is doing. Now, do, you've been doing that your whole life. I don't necessarily, I, I find it, I don't find it reprehensible. I find it reprehensible when someone should know better does it. Mm. It's still pretty bad when you point it out and say, that's not what we do anymore. This is it. Maybe it was something that was normalized before. It doesn't happen now. And it sounds a little touchy-feely and may hurt a couple guys' feelings out there and stuff like that, but we just don't do that anymore. Obviously, some people come in and invite that, and they say, oh, well, 
the idea of telling someone how they look when they come into work, you know, it touches upon all those things. When yeah. someone comes up, mm-hmm. we're touching their hair, see how it's telling them how they look, whether they uh, are attractive, yeah, so you look sexy, looks blah, 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 like, yeah. blah. And it, I think as a, it, your relationship kind of develops, develops. you can say those things and say, hey, you look uh, very professional today, or do, are you going to court? You know, that's funny. <laughs> you know, actually, I do that. Are you, you, oh, you, are you being sued? Isn't that right? Yeah, uh, I'm orange. saying. Oh, and if you're really Jump good shirt. friends, if I'm really good with girls, I go friends with a girl. Are you going and it may be, and this yeah. is touchy, this is why I'm Keith's bartender, not Keith's uh, uh, pastor or a rabbi. Uh, it would be, hey, what time are you on stage? Mm. And yeah. when I stage, I mean a stage with a pole on it. Because you're dressed, uh, you, you dress uh, similar to a stripper today. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's a friend, yeah. uh-huh. a close friend, uh-huh. a close friend who right. says the same shit to you when you're doing this. And say, hey, listen, she'll say something if your zipper's down. And she says, hey, she'll say something yes. very exact this about is, it. But those things have happened, and it's been yeah. agreed on. This is there's, a, a, there's a contract. The yes. advantage of uh, being an upper arm man is oh, you're making up. What what? No. Oh, okay. you, you can you can almost anybody any woman. You can go up and say, hey, how are you? No, you no, yes, you no. You, okay, Joel just touched his wife, which is fine. But <laughs> they suggest you. that you could Why go up and touch a woman's body. Upper arm. With, you uh, just touched my upper arm. Any part of her body you. without necessarily, right. unless perhaps you're stopping them from walking, approaching a, a, a subway train yeah. or, you know, exactly. or a bus no, and things like that, you grabbing know, them you wouldn't, that way. You wouldn't do that to a stranger on the subway. I agree. Why would but, what would be the but, difference if they're but, bare armed if they're doing it here like, in Key you Largo? Could be, with you could be like, hey, look at that. You know. Well, that's different. That was a, that, that was a tap. Yes, but it was a touch. It was body contact. I think it's entree. I think it, he he just tapped it's, the arm. It's yeah. an entree. You you seem very. Uh, it's kind of uh, conniving. Because <laughs> it's a sneaky, it's a step up. Sneaky, it's a yeah. step up. Meaning like okay. that, and then someone touched. I had okay. No, in, like, get, for instance, in Europe, um, you get together with uh, people, you meet people. Yes. Women, let's say you're male. Mm-hmm. I am, so I'm 100% male. What are you talking okay. about? Okay. Sam, it's it's male. Not, not all about you. He's using the generalized Oh, male. I thought you were referring to me. Let's yeah, say yeah, you're yeah, male. No, you. Yeah, although you do have nice upper arms, I've noticed. Oh, would you touch me? <laughs> no. Are my proportional no. to my... No touching, Jim. Oh, yeah. no touching. You get to, we're friends, so you can go and touch me now. See, it's funny. <laughs> this is where you got the problem right there. You said no yeah. touching. So either that's a sign of slight homophobia, or yeah. remember, because Jack said that. No, I don't like being touched. I like touching. Aren't you being touched when you're touching someone? Just by <laughs> having the feelings of touch? No, I think no, you're a little I'm, touched. I, no, I think you are touched. A little touched. Yeah, I think you're touched. <laughs> touched by an angel. What do you mean you don't angel. like being touched? Takes one to Wait know one. Yes. What do you mean you don't like no, being touched? I, by whom? Well, you know, a woman that comes up to you that you don't know that well? I'm, I'm just, uh, we're getting, you know, you wouldn't do deep into this, guys. Okay. Oh, well, 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 why, wouldn't you, why, why would you not expect that when you said that? Well, I'm just, you know, because... I mean, we I mean, were looking for the real... Uh, and looking, just like you would... Well, if you were sitting you, in a session, wouldn't you, you wouldn't you dig into someone's innocent comment? Wouldn't sometimes yeah, that, that it means something more than in what it said? When in our group session and some guy said, well, I had a dream about... And rattled off this dream and... My mentor started making an interpretation, and the guy interrupted him and said, well, it really wasn't my dream. It was another guy's dream. He told it to me. And my mentor was like, doesn't matter. That's the one you clomped onto. It was meaningful to you. So. Oh, so you're just confirming my, uh, uh, my, uh, I don't have a bias. You're confirming my interpretation of what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Okay, so get to the touching. You're in Europe. I'm going to see how many of those No. So, so in Europe, you're so, say, let's say you're, let's say I'm doing air quotes. I'm referring to you directly going, you're a male. Okay. Uh, <laughs> do you like that? Thanks, you like man. that? <laughs> you like that? Oh, since you said thanks, that to thanks me. Thanks for the affirmation. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I really appreciate that. No, see, it is a comedy show at all. <laughs> we try to be a little informative, but we can be funny at the same time. There's no reason. Yes, and we're not. Funny. Okay. See, that's, I didn't get the informative part. I've just been trying to be funny. Uh, we, you know what? I think it's my. I think that's the uh, 
that's my bent on the show. Yeah. I try to be no, you're uh, humorous. Informative. I try to be humorous. And humorous. I know, and, and, and informative. Yeah. And, and entertaining. Yeah. So it's it's a difficult balancing act, but let's get back to it. In Europe, you're saying, okay, so as a, as a male. What you, what you do, even if you're meeting uh, a woman for the first time, mm -hmm. married woman, whatever, you know, part of a couple, whatever, and guy is there, what, what you do is the, the double cheek uh, kiss, okay? The With first the time you meet him? Yes. It's like if you're introduced to somebody. I thought you would you say goodbye. No, I thought after you after you've been introduced. That too. I see. I was. I would, when you first when you I always thought, and this is my. You might be my wrong. mistake. Yeah, could be my wrong. mistake. I thought the first introduction was a, a light handshake and a, and a bow, and then uh, maybe I saw that from my fair lady or something like that. Maybe <laughs> that was. Hey, that's where I learned all my. You stuck back British in that. British is a whole other. You're stuck level. back in that developmental stage. Yes, my fair lady. So well, the first time now, yet. now in Europe. You know, for a guy, you shake hands. Hi, this is uh, Jack. Nice to meet you, Jack. Okay. For a woman, you're like, oh, Diane, nice to meet you. Well, I imagine that's changed much since we're, we're talking about modern times because isn't um, we have the LGBTQT um, range of... So how would that really necessarily, if you have... Would wouldn't men who um, have the gay community just have do that to each yes. other? Yes. And, and the same thing with women. Yeah, and, do, gay, and do women and do women do that naturally? Gay, to other people. Friends would, would do uh, women naturally would, do that, uh, or do they would, uh, shake uh, hands? How about with women? On, on I think cheek, women are more likely to less likely to shake hands and more likely to give you a kiss the first time yeah. you meet. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's very nice. It's very I would like warm. to formalize it's, that. I would like to formalize the where it's not in the first thing, and do the handshake and on upon parting after, after because you people. don't even know what that person is like. What happens? You've just kissed someone who's a, let's a, say. Let me say, use Tina as my new sound effect. So, because not everyone deserves to be kissed the first time they met. Because sometimes you could be. Ah! Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That in That's a new sound effect. I wanted to play it, and you know, you just kissed an asshole. Well, you could. Uh, can I say something? Just now that I'm thinking yeah. about it and picturing it, that you do when you first, if you when you're introduced to somebody, you could hold out your hand and say, "Encantada," which means enchanted. Enchanted. I'm, that, which means I'm happy to meet you. Encantada is a very common greeting. So. For a woman, in Cantado, for Sometimes a you can say, never darken my door again. How would you say that in Spanish? I don't know. Okay. We're in Spain. Uh, well, I know puerta means door, so <laughs> never means uh, never, nunca. Ne, ne, no. nunca. Man, how come, Very good. How in how the hell you live in Spain? Where did you get that? Yeah, I where just, did that come from? I just have, I, 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 my way my brain yeah. works. Yeah. yeah, but that's not considered friendly, so you wouldn't do that. What, never darken my door again? Yeah, on, on chante. How about, it again? Uh, yeah, well, it That's could be strange, some, what though. if someone came to your door and he happened to have a bad yellowed hair comb over and with the orange makeup on and... Okay. Uh, Come right and, in. Oh, okay, Larry David. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wanted, what I wanted to say was, uh, it's been speculated that one of the reasons that you do the, the double kiss, even at first, uh -huh. is because... You get a chance to smell. closely <laughs> smell, smell them. <laughs> smell them. See if they're rotted corpses. The zombie thing. Because you know what? Because <laughs> you don't know someone's a new zombie because the flesh starts rotting first and you get in closer. Yes. No. What were we going to say? <laughs> Remember humor words, first. I leave, words humor. Out of my mouth, I leave it humor. I leave it humor. <laughs> what were you saying? There's that's a reason. I know when um, no, so someone kneels. You get a take on them. You know, the kneeling yeah. thing that people do in front of. Uh, royalty royalty is to uh, and disempower that you can, it's 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 almost impossible to, to attack from a kneel a kneeling position mm -hmm. with a broadsword and things yeah. like that exactly. so and then the uh, the open hand when you're approaching someone yeah. to just show that I'm not, I'm not carrying on. a gun 
Or a knife. <laughs> a knife, because it goes or back. Or a crossbow. Home. A crossbow. Yeah. Or a slingshot. Yeah. Or a throwing stick. Never approach somebody with your hand behind your back. Yes, that's right. You, yeah. I wouldn't do that. No. I wouldn't, I would, it would be hard to approach someone. We, since we're I was going to ask one thing, though, while we're on these cultural ways of greeting. Where, where is it that you kiss three times? Is that I forget now. You go well, one, a, two, and then back to the first. That's an overdoer. No, no, there really those, is a place those. where they do that, and I can't remember where it is. I guess the amount of times you do it kind of really magnifies your uh, enthous- enthusiasm about how, what you feel I think about. It the has person. to do with symmetry. You have to go back. Some well, some people like symmetry. Some people don't like. Symmetry. Okay. Well. No, I'll have to research that because there is. I I remember meeting people that kiss three times yeah. instead of two and I can't I remember where there's a whole um, That's we're going to get back to we're going to bring that we're going to bring that back because in America we have a whole slew of things people do things different it's not codified yeah. I'm gonna, we're going to take just like a two a, second like a break bump. Yeah, yeah there's all, all sorts of things we're going to take a quick a break slap. quick break for a quick uh, for okay. a commercial break If you want to get your information about the Florida Keys straight from the locals who live here and the ones who love it here, we've got you covered. Visit 43keys.com as your source for everything Florida Keys. Sign up for our newsletter and you'll always be up to date on all the Keysy stuff that's going on down here. Go to 43keys.com. That's the number four, the number three, keys.com and sign up today. And we're back. Applause. Oh, you want the applause? I don't. Yeah, I don't back. know if I have applause. Nobody we're back. Yeah. There we go. This is not. This is the cheesy stuff like that. No. You know. No, I was really, just. I was just really, telling. Yeah. It, it really makes me feel enthusiastic. Oh really? That's funny. <laughs> That's very funny. You That's really a. Too sure. Oh no. I don't want to do that one. Okay. Yeah. So we were talking about the customary greetings in, in, in the United States. It runs the whole gambit. We got the fist bump now for people that germaphobes. High five. High five. Germ- yeah. yeah, high five. At least. Uh, and then depending, you, you, gosh, in certain, obviously, if you're more conservative mm. moving, you have the, uh, the Amish and the, and the Hasidim and uh, conservative, religious, all different right. ones. Can't touch no, no touching whatsoever. Maybe I don't know if the greeting because I, I told you that, when a, I on, the, similar on the plane when them. we were coming going to Poland, we got hmm. in Warsaw. We were waiting. We got there late, but they were waiting for a um, a group of people coming from New York, a, a whole Hasidic uh, um, Orthodox Jewish. Um, I'm, no, but I want to call it the. Their whole their shul or their congregation congregation yeah. were coming on a tour, and uh, the men couldn't sit next to a right. woman right. who what wasn't you know a, a close relation to them, right. and so we we were also delayed a little moving around. Yeah. But um, what I said instead of doing that, why don't we just move? You know, like I had my daughter. We we're trying to get. Move my daughter and everyone. Why don't we move them next to each other? You give up your seat and stuff like that. And then I had Abby, and there was a young guy, and he sat right next to me. And I said, "Oh, well, that's perfectly fine. I'll just switch seats with her." And you he yeah. sit next to me. And, oh, thank you. And we started talking, yeah. um, and uh, perfectly understandable. I, um, but there was always there was a. Um, sometimes you go in. I, I, I'm a kiss on the cheek person a lot of time. Yeah. And I don't have a problem with the guy, even, you know, giving him a kiss on cheek. I don't have a problem with that. I don't give a hug or a uh, two. But uh, some people are even, well, I think. Lip kissers? Lip kissers. I think that's a little invasive. Yeah, yeah. Well, women no, no. women do that. Some, I've had mm-hmm. uh, uh, women come in, and I guess when they're drinking. Mm, yeah. They're loose. They, yeah, they're, 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 and they're stealing they're a kiss kissing. from bartender Jim. Yeah, yeah. Handsome bartender. Well, I didn't say now. I didn't say now. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, no, no. I'm not admitting to that now. No, no. I'm not, hey, I'm in my 50s now. It doesn't happen as much as you <laughs> used to be before. And it's then you had the relatives worse. that were also kind of smoochy yeah. with that. Yeah, they yeah. get kind of nutty Consider with that Consider it stuff. a compliment. 
Well, would you? That's kind of. Uh, um, wouldn't that be uh, kind of a dual? Um, what do you call that? They're when, objectifying you. Yes, when you couldn't do that to a woman necessarily, just say, "Well, I mean, I, well, you did. I may have when I was drinking. I may have yeah. been in, but uh, for schmutzen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then, good word. Yeah, I'm thinking. Schmutzen? Geschmutzen. Geschmutzen or smoochen? <laughs> is, that, is that Yiddish for smoochen? No, no, it's German. Oh, German? Well, isn't it's Joel. Yiddish a part of it? It's Joel. 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 Okay. It's, what is it called? Geschmutzen. Isn't it almost like verboten? So that she's not smoochen? <laughs> so, because. Yeah. Because bidden and verboten, so I think that means the anti part. So yeah. for smoochen, no kissing. Yeah. Gershmutzen or, or oh, or you Boden? said Gershmutzen. Gershmutzen. Okay, Gersh- I thought that's if you're kissing so a jazz composer, Gersh uh, Ger- <laughs> Ger- Gersh- 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 That's Gersh- the Gersh- asshole thing. Yeah, no, you I want to play that? You can't even say that. You want to call me this? I do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I got to get more because I'll, I'm going to yeah, overuse just a, that. A just bad a, pun. Just a tip for you: you don't want to abuse that. That's what I just said. I just said I don't want to overuse that. Oh boy, just a couple of seconds later. Well, yeah, that's no, great. That if we're well, you want to okay. here? I'll write. I'll give you things uh, I wrote down so you can necessarily not be after I said it. <laughs> you know, after I said it. Oh, like an analyst. Oh, you just said that, didn't you? I could, I just, if you showed me that, I could appreciate it. Um, Action. I want to get on this thing where um, oh, you of, get you had I you had, asked me to watch that show, Mine Hunter. I'm, I'm making a horrible segue. No, I just, yeah, but I just wanted to add, like, you know about pre, pre-shadowing? Yeah, foreshadowing. Foreshadowing. Like foreskin. Sometimes like, you don't have to do it. Yeah, you don't have exactly to do it. You the can same leave thing. it there or you can take it off. That's right. They're interchangeable. Yes. Foreshadowing and yes, foreskin. Just a tip. Yes. Feel free to just use those interchangeably. Yes, yes, I got it. <laughs> yeah. But if you showed me your thing, I could foreshadow you. I'm not going to show I you my thing, Joel, no matter what you want. <laughs> No matter how you ask me, I'm not going to show you my thing. <laughs> See, I just wait. I'm just, just I'm, wait, a, I'm, yeah, one of, I'm like just, a judo uh, yeah, yeah. master. Yeah. I'll take, I'll use your yeah. movements to increase mine. Yeah. That's yeah. that's why, how I do it. I think that's a bartender in me. Right. I had someone to come in last night, they were, not the, the other night, two nights ago, and they were telling me a bunch of jokes. I think when you came in, yeah. they were in the left-hand corner. It was your, Sunday your night. left? No, on my there? left, the left-hand corner near the we men's there room. Sunday, Weren't you there Sunday Yesterday. night or Saturday night? You were there last night? Yeah. yeah during the day. How easily we forget. Oh, I forgot because you were drinking and I didn't think you drank during the daytime. Okay. We're from Spain. Man. Okay. I didn't know. No, I didn't think. I thought, if okay, the night, of, the, the night, the night before there was a glass of wine with lunch. In Spain, they'll throw you out. I'm not frowning upon that. <laughs> I'm just saying that. I didn't think. I know Gabby does it then. But I there was a couple that were like telling. Drowsy. I yeah. don't like it. Yeah. No. They were like they were telling me jokes the whole time. You can use this. You can use this. I said I rarely ever have pre prepared jokes. Yeah. Why Best. I don't need them. You're, you're an improviser. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna use whatever you have for me. And if you're just gonna keep on. Tell me jokes. I'm, it's, I just lose interest. Well, I have a foreshadow story, yes. and then we can move. Do you on want to tell the joke? You don't have to. You, can, um, yeah, you don't have to move on. Tell me. Okay. Me. So uh, I'm doing some recording with a buddy who's a poet, and so what he does. So I have an idea of what I'm going to do musically. Mm-hmm. Is uh, he'll send me his his poems uh-huh. first. So he comes over and he starts, you know, he'll read his poems and I'll, I'll supply the uh, music. And so he, in one of his poems had to do with a slide guitar, you know. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, what am I going to do with this? I can't, I just can't do slide guitar, as he mentions. Too it. obvious. Uh-huh. It's, yes, too obvious. Thank you. So I foreshadowed him. So about a verse before he got to slide guitar, he switched into slide guitar. Yeah. Before That's he, a joke? Yeah. It's not a joke. It's uh, just a definition a of foreshadow. Okay, well, I, since it's funny you're that. telling a joke, I'm gonna, I listen to your music. Okay? And that's not, <laughs> oh, the other day. I, no, joke. no, it's not a joke. It's not a joke because you were talking about music. Yeah. Not, I'm not referencing the joke. Hmm. I'm referencing the music. And it, it seemed to me a combination of uh, 
There was foreshadowing in it. The horn, the horn reminded me of a movie. It reminded me of, what was it, clarinet, you said? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It sounded a little like you'd he- something you'd hear before a herald would come out. It sounded ominous. <gasps> it sounded ominous. And then with the car, uh, guitar coming in, it sounded suspenseful. Uh, suspenseful. No, it was a car. Uh, <laughs> what? It was a car. No, the guitar. I mean. oh, oh, guitar. Guitar. I have it. I remember. I told you as a child, I had a speech impediment, so sometimes I trip upon my tongue. Me too. Yes. So something we share. I don't. I'm not using that Amigo. thing. I'm, it doesn't slow me yeah. down. I don't. I don't get uh, guitar, schmar, car. Yeah, it doesn't. Cool. As long as people get the idea, what say, wait, water, chocolate, whatever, they make fun of you for, <laughs> for saying something. That's your own problem with that um, <laughs> upper arm thing. I got to remember writing that down because yeah. I want to mention that okay. sort of thing. Um, He's doing a psychological profile on me. No, no, it's not psychological. That was, that was... Tell me who I am. Our last, our very last podcast. No, not at all. Tell me who I am. I enjoy, this is, I think you're doing, (laughs) each, each podcast, it gets better and better, more natural. So that music, so I was listening to it and I, I was saying, I'm thinking, I said, oh my God, I thought maybe, maybe Joel has been working on this for years and this is attempt at mind control. And it was <laughs> a 17 and a half minute, was it 17, 18 minutes and 30 seconds? Mm. What was it? The, the one you, and there were some pauses in there, and then I hear the, a long horn, yeah. and then I hear a guitar, and then it would vary and it get more complex as time, except the horn didn't get much more complex, but the guitar did. Mm. And I was just thinking that were you trying to uh, repattern my uh, frontal cortex. Was that? Was that? It? I'm listening to that. <laughs> yeah. And and then. Yeah, I did. I, I was going to listen. And was there a subliminal message going on? Well, well, with the in between, was there this something? This is all improvisation. Nothing was pre-planned. But I have no doubts that you crept up from my subconscious, and I was through my guitar uh-huh. talking directly. No, I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't. Know. Bar, bar, I didn't say. I didn't. Jim. I know. I didn't know. I'm not be, that egocentric. It might, it might I'm be not a that, grandiose. I'm not. I'm not being know. that egocentric. I, I thought maybe you made one for anyone necessarily yeah. to repattern their. Uh, you would be difficult. You would be a difficult uh, to repattern. <laughs> why? 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 Why would you that? say yeah, something why? like that? I, I think uh, strong ego. You have your own particular. Uh, Je ne sais quoi. What doesn't everyone That's really? specific. Yeah, I, just I, said I don't that know what that's, I, I don't know, know the meaning of that word. Because <laughs> it doesn't have. <laughs> that much. literally means I yeah. do not know what. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I always wanted to say that when someone said something. I don't even know the meaning of that word. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. But let's hear some laughter. What I meant. Oh, what? No. <laughs> Here we go. What do you think about that, Doctor? <laughs> Okay, keep it calm. There's no reason to get so uh, excited about it. Um, no, but <laughs> I'm listening to it, one. and I was thinking, I was going in my head, oh my God, is this something that maybe, no, because I know your uh, studies when you used, you ran brain, brain, uh, brain waves through a, a synthesizer. Yeah. And then I thought, well, what if you did the reverse if you took um, just an interpreted brainwave and try to mimic it using sound to elicit a, an emotional or mental response, a thought response. And That's so kind of what we were doing. No, no, but I'm not, you thought, I thought you were do, doing it to me. Okay. I thought you developed the one that could work on uh, anyone. A generic See, one. See, yeah. that's where you, that's where the, uh, that's where you del- misinterpret delusions yeah. of grandeur would mean you did all that for me. No, not at all. I knew that existed <laughs> way before I came on that thing. I, whatever you did, maybe, and was your friend, what, what was your friend's, yeah, well, what was their, what's their background? Oh, Andrew, so who played the horn? Andrew. But you're right. It was a what his career. What was his vocation? It was a Volks riff. That's that's what I was doing. Good for everybody. Okay, so but what was his pattern? What did he do? What did he do? He on didn't that? have Granger. And then I had okay. It. Andy is a brilliant uh, musician, and that was his full time job. 
Yes, he does. Everybody has full-time jobs. No, no, what I mean is that's his vocation. Yeah. Yeah. I just, what I'm trying to get at, I'm trying to find out if you had some kind of thing where you, he worked for the CIA, maybe in parapsychology (laughs) or something like that. I think, I think, I think a writer, musician is a full-time gig. I just trying to get to the core of the the, the Andy, meaning of what you were doing that day. And do Andy, you, you don't smoke Andy pot or do mushrooms or anything? Like, you don't use no. any psychedelics, right? Who, me? Right yes. No, I didn't. Have you, have you ever? Well, my, the first time I ever experienced don't mention anything here. a psychedelic uh, was in Bahia Honda. In Bahia Honda? Yeah. Like many, many years ago. 1968. Okay, so, but... So these things that you were doing, what was your, what were you attempting to do with that music? Make music. That's it. No, what no were purpose. you trying to elicit? What emotions? What feelings? What's in? What was it? I mean, there is because when you hear, let's say, that song by um, Ed Sheeran, and he does a duet with Andrea Bocelli. Yeah. Well, perfect, it's beautiful. It goes from English to Italian, mm. and they both finish in Italian, and it's about love and things like that. So they're eliciting uh, feelings of love. So what are you trying? Yeah, because I mean, obviously, what, when what you're AC, DC, yeah, with free improv, um, it's 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 just it's as if you're um, was channeling something. Yes, that you don't know. What it is? Oh, so you don't have. So if you come in, let's say you come in, you're you're disquieted, and, but your friend is uh, satisfied, accomplished that day, yeah. and you improv together. Yeah, that you would blend those two together. It well, sounded like you two were just coming out of a. Um, um, you were trapped in someone's basement <laughs> for a couple weeks. And fed, um, fed canned meats and stale crackers. Thank you. <laughs> no, no, no. It sounded really. Good. It was I, like I said. The way I described it sounded. It sounded both. In the beginning, it sounded ominous. It sounded. There was a movie called. Um, I didn't even know. The Mimi Rogers was in it. No. Well, it's about. It goes back a while. Oh yeah, back in the nineties. It was pretty good. She's kind of. She was a. A lost soul. Uh, yeah. Drank a lot, had free sex and all that stuff. Used to screw around all the time. And, um, and she became she um, she became involved with a born again thing. And it, she gets into a uh, end of days Christian cult. The master? No. Now the master no, was, was a very good. That was yeah. a very good movie. That's Philip Seymour Hoffman yeah. and, yeah. and Joaquin Phoenix yeah. and Amy Adams. I know all that. I, yeah, yes, you yeah. You should be so, a but, trivia person. No, I am trivial, but I don't. That's no way to. That's no way to have a have a, a social life or a, a relationship. <laughs> so, no, this was. It was not perdition. It was. It wasn't redemption. It was something. It's like purgatory almost. And what happens is, in in right before it's okay. It's the uh, end of times. So right before that happens, there's a horn, and you hear this loud horn. Not like a klaxon you hear from an air raid. Yeah. But closer to what you were, um, I was hearing with the, uh, yeah. the clarinet. I yeah. guess that's uh-huh. a clarion. That's yeah. why you get that yeah. kind of sound. Yeah. And that came on and was steady. And it was like something is going to happen and it's not going to be really good. Yeah. When I say not good, I'm not saying that excellent quality. Yeah. I'm saying there's something foreboding. Yeah. Really yeah. Sure. And it's going to be a, a deep. And, that, and that's... What it did, and then you hear uh, discord, the discord of the uh, guitar music yeah. go back, and it wasn't, it, it wasn't disquieting. I could listen to it for a while, and what I did is I advanced it and went further, further, further. I downloaded it so I, so I could listen to it. I saved it. Yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, uh, do you want me to use it sometime? Yeah, I use it and stuff like that. Yeah, I want, I want to probably do it. I'll ask people to look at, it, listen to it when they're in a really good mood. Yeah, or post midnight alone. No, no, you don't want no. to do that. No, get, you know, what if someone's depressed? You know what I mean? It'll lift him. Yeah, you know, and then I would do right this, ladies and gentlemen. There's suicide highline number right here. <laughs> you can add it. Yeah, yeah. So, what, that, that's funny. You you said that with music and um, Abby and I. I hope my friends don't listen to the show. We um, 
I performed <laughs> a, a ceremony at a friend's wedding, and uh, this was a couple of years back, and they played the song. Uh, it's an Andrea Bocella, Sarah Bright, Brightman song. You probably know it. Hard to say goodbye. I forgot what the mm. name of it was in Italian. Hard <laughs> to say goodbye. And they're dancing to it. It's beautiful. Is that anticipating their wedding? Their it's divorce. That was the first right? dance. <laughs> It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful song it because it, uh, yeah, he it sings it. It's a very, it sounds like an area in the beginning, and they both got, and then they both. Yeah, but it in. sounds, it sounds like it's anticipating their divorce. That's what we thought. We yeah. thought it sounded like a oh, perfect you didn't one. Choose it. So they chose. We didn't. Yeah, you're responding to what. It, oh, we were listening to it, watching, and we looked yeah. at each other when yeah. you were showing it. It's a beautiful. <laughs> I said, some people pick music and don't think of the lyrics, the lyrics. Yeah. because um, right. Um, I think Pink Floyd, uh, a buddy, uh, we got married and he had to dance with, not a buddy, it was someone I, I, I actually made her deed to a wedding. And the groom danced with his mother. Uh, and it was the song by Pink Floyd, I think, called Mother. But uh, it was uh, Mother Don't Break My Balls. And I go like this. Mm, one of the lines in it, you know, and I go, oh, okay, that's unique. He was delivering thing. a message. Yeah, so we were thinking... Yeah, they they probably didn't really. They get so wrapped up in the music and say it's so beautiful. You don't even know that. Um, listen to what they. Especially if it was are. in Italian. Can I, yeah. Can I tell well, it you? wasn't. It wasn't. It, it it breaks into a short thing where they go. That's where it's hard to say goodbye. They actually say that in English too. Uh -huh. So if you listen to the whole song, mm -hmm. you find mm -hmm. it's a parting song. Mm -hmm. It's someone going on a journey, mm -hmm. which are we're. They are going on a journey, mm -hmm. and this is what we're going we're, I want to tell you our interpretation at the end of it. Well, no, I just wanted to say that uh, Gabby and I had a bit of an arm wrestle for what our Once first Once again, song. the upper arms. Yeah, okay. Huh? Yeah, go on. Go on. Upper arms. Upper arm. Yeah. Um, no, this one and Gabby won. This one. I did, I did win this one. Always. Not always. <laughs> It just you, seems you feel one. like your partner always wins, it's not a good... No, I meant arm wrestling. Re relationship. No, well, it was um, that's theoretical. That's a metaphoric. Yes, arm wrestle. Okay, okay. Uh, but uh, over the over the first song to dance to at our wedding, and I had chosen "Surfer Girl" by the Beach Boys. Okay, that's a that's a love song. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you heard but uh, got next. What? Yeah, I got next. Well, what is that? At last? Oh, or was it at last? Did you choose? Because I didn't think By Etta James? Was, a surfer girl, was it Etta James at last? No. <laughs> no. That's a beautiful it song. Is a beautiful song. Oh, that's a beautiful one. Um, is it a convenience? No, it was a Beatles song. Uh, Paul McCartney song. Um, yes, Farmhouse? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow? When I'm 16. When I'm 63. Uh, when I think of it, I'll just shout, blurt it out. Sergeant whatever. Pepper? No. <laughs> it wasn't very, it was a ballad. I am the walrus. I am the he walrus. Is the he is the walrus. He is the walrus. <laughs> 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 I'm the beauty. He's yeah. the walrus. He's writing down. Why aren't you working? Um, because I am working right now. Oh, That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in other place. What? Yeah. The, uh, Your famous. The, uh, laughter. Too late. No, I'm going to put it the other one. <laughs> that would have been taken the wrong way. Here, 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 there, and everywhere. Oh, oh that I is a beautiful that one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so, that's a... Um, that's a... Uh, you know, when it comes down to it, so... It's no, but really Abby, 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 yeah. Abby so, said maybe, maybe they were saying goodbye to the single life. And I said, if you knew the two, they didn't really have, you know what I mean? Some, but you see someone like when I got married, that uh, that song, you know, it's hard to say goodbye. You're saying goodbye to your single yeah, life, yeah, yeah. all those things that you have, you know, yeah. the, the drinks with friends, going yeah. out, talking to girls, yeah. uh, uh, meeting Certain someone. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah. Having different relations with people and and uh, uh, maybe going to an adult club. Or, or um, getting up, and then you start seeing the bad side of it, and saying, you know, waking up the next day trying to be quiet, trying to get out of there real <laughs> quick, and explain how you why you didn't call and things like that, sure. or trying to get your wallet back that you yeah. left behind. Yeah. Yeah. I think like that's all yeah. real stuff that happened before yeah. to me. So, and and I said, well, I don't know if you really want to encompass that stuff into your first dance. It should be about your 
your yeah. feelings of uh, the totality of your feelings for the, the person that you're with. It's going to be your first dance. Yeah. Unless there's no music to it, and that's cool. and when there's no lyrics to it, and it's just music, you can it lends whatever. Like a light minuet. Yes, or perhaps a square dance, or a and that's not light. Circle and dance. Is circle dance. Line uh, dance. The electric slide. The, yeah, we're getting to Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> so we no, but we thought about that when the songs and say, how would you necessarily pick one song and almost invariably if you pick the wrong song, you're really saying a lot about almost I think so what you are happened to that couple? Did they stay? Oh together? they're wonderful. They I I'm absolutely sure uh, they are married. They're friends of mine. They just they're close they friends of mine. Right? Matter of fact, care about the they're lyrics. lovely. Uh, yeah. No, they like the music. I said I would have just played the the. Uh, yeah, well, I, Andrea Bocelli, his voice is the part of it. They they just, I guess people get so enamored of the tonal quality no, of his really. vo voice that they don't even think of, mm -hmm. about what That's it's true. saying. That happens sometimes. See, yeah. the other thing is always leave them scratching their heads. So I'm a fan of, you know, throwing paradoxical stuff into the mix. Yeah, well, yeah. I don't know if that you're, you're, when you're, when you're, if you're going through the trouble of having a ceremonial to, to cement your bonds with someone, yeah. and then you make it into a display of frivolity or something like that, and, and if that's... That may not be a necessarily a bad thing. No. For most people, it's a bad thing. So this is the... Uh, rarely do we get a chance to hear that during the... Uh, That's not a sound effect. Yeah, the fighter jets, they, they fly low and fast over. Yeah. yeah. Showing off for That's their... Good well, that's training exercise and stuff like that. They actually can do that over. It's funny when they go off the keys and stuff like that. They do this about 120 feet off the ground, yeah. uh, 200 feet off the ground, yeah. and the um, they have to ditch. Really? Yeah. If they have to ditch all of a sudden. Yeah. Oh well. They're screwed. Yeah. <laughs> well, think about it. So if you do it over, if you do it over the water. You have to mm, ditch. Mm. That's great. It's you have to go fast because suffer. you're not really. They, they, you don't really have to guide anything anymore. And the precision. No, they don't. They don't do bombing like they did in World War II, where you have to go and do targeting practice. Oh yeah, like right. That. They don't do that stuff. Totally anymore. Amazing, Were you ever in the service, Jim? Yeah, briefly. Which which one? Hmm? Which branch? The U.S. one. <laughs> <laughs> Our side. Yes. <laughs> Our side. Oh, that's good. The winning side. Uh, but that we but we haven't won. For a long time. No, we haven't. No, we're just, staying, just dragging we, along. Yeah. Not so, You were going to say Vietnam? We no, I was going to say Vietnam. even Korea. Not even Korea, no. That's still going on, right? They didn't even sign a peace <laughs> treaty yet. Yeah. So that's an armistice. Yeah, but there's brotherly love in there. Yeah. Okay. And I don't know how we got this one. the details. We were talking about love. We are talking about love, but you brought it back to love. Yeah. So if you're going to do a song, if you're going to do a there song, I always, when people do that thing where they... People break out into a, a dance and they do something kind of silly. Um, they could do something serious and then something silly. Yeah, it could be. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. But you know, life's not all about that. Sometimes, sometimes it's sad. If you want to do it, they should do a whole interpretive song of marriage, and where you mm -hmm. have uh, no, the joy. You have Nobody joy. No, you no. start out with joy, and then you have some of the sadness and discord where. We play some of your music, maybe, and then <laughs> <laughs> and they pull apart, Fuck and you then you have them coming back together. I know that was what? oh, you want me to say that? Here we go. Asshole. Okay. <laughs> so no, and then and then they have them coming together and growing, <laughs> and you play something like the Appalachian Spring mm -hmm. by Copeland. <clears throat> uh, uh, nice yes, yeah. and then maybe. Americana. Some of the discord would be the growing up would be in the beginning would be Stravinsky's um, right, uh, spring. right of spring. Mm. That would be perfect, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. Except, but the, the the truth of it is that it's always like ups and downs. Yeah, that's what I meant. You have all those things. No, but I mean on. like quick change up and downs. Not oh, so it's more like jazz, right? 
Just like a jazz. Uh, so there'd be a lot of dynamics yeah. to it, you know. Okay. <clears throat> like more like the stuff I do. Do you think maybe introduce an oboe? I thought for a second that was a. Uh, I thought I wouldn't uh, adhere a disjordu or something like that. Mm -hmm. That would actually. Yeah. You know, to hear that wah, 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 wah. Yeah. It's got that echoing quality. That's yeah. almost like yeah, that, that, back that, and that forth. Like Rado, yes. Love. You know, yeah. like that? Yeah, I love that scene. Okay. Do you know anyone that plays that? Has one? No, I don't know anybody about that. I thought I knew someone that did it because I was listening to it. I was expecting, I was expecting it to yeah. pop in there or something yeah. like that. Yeah. I thought you may have had more than um, one. one it went on. It would have been, I thought it was like Bolero. Yeah. You start hearing the clarinet, and then on the guitar, and then there'd be a tambourine, and then maybe there was a, 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 a keyboard, yeah. maybe a, uh, a bass. So this was just the two of us, you know, improvising. Yeah. <clears throat> and we were doing that throughout a week mm -hmm. in my music room, not underground, not in the basement. But I have to tell you, there was a lot of... Oh, oh. That's what I was going to... I was that? just going to say, there was ahead, no psychedelics, but... Well, there's a certain drink that they have in Spain, it's, and it's after dinner drink. It's called a digestive, uh -huh. and it's Liqueur. made out of similar, oh, like an aperitif. Similar, yeah. maybe to limoncello or okay. something like that. And and uh, Joel and his buddy here, who play together, they uh, they how can I describe it? They partake to the fullest of the arujo because they both really. Love it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a, it's a it's a deep passion that they have. It's not just a drink. So that really informs so our that music. That helps mm -hmm. explain. That's, yeah. that's probably important to know. And what time of night was that? Now, I'm going to listen to it uh, several times. I'm going to put it on post midnight. I'm not going to let my daughter listen to it. No, no, I wouldn't. She's uh, too impressionable. Yeah. To do that. <laughs> yeah. I don't need your mind control <clears throat> music taking over. Uh, yeah. Doing anything. I'll, I can. I can probably. It ain't Shakira. It. We know that. <clears throat> oh, I like I said, I listened to it. Yeah. I listened to the whole thing. I'm gonna, and I'm I'm intrigued. Yeah. So that he does, I think that he does look a little altered. Maybe it did change him. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. In your professional opinion. I I think maybe I see a few more wrinkles. <laughs> <laughs> After night. listening to that, it was a hard night. It was for old Jim. <laughs> oh, for <clears throat> listening. Oh, listening? Oh, no, morning. not at all. Because this morning you I just saw I listened to it two hours ago. Yeah. Because it was on what what platform was that on? Way out, way up, way up. Oh, we transfer. We transfer. There's a free way to uh, to send uh, like a you know gigabytes. Okay. Of stuff. Yeah. Why is that such a big file? Uh, because it's recorded at uh, high resolution. I'm sorry, I forgot. I should have downed it to MP3. Or it's on. It's on. It's it's fine. I got yeah. it. Okay. Yeah, I well, got. You got full fidelity. That's yeah. It took up uh, one tenth of the <laughs> space on uh, my phone right there. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not I thought maybe embedded into it, you have the uh, uh, the extra the European call. space agencies yeah. these plans for the next twenty mm -hmm. years with their international mm -hmm. space station was embedded in the uh, information. I'll tell you about Andy's latest uh, project. What? My friend in Berlin. It was really a brilliant uh, musician. musician. Yeah, he's downloaded the. Um, he downloaded all the um, numbers from the data, the magnetic, magnetic, <clears throat> excuse me, data of the um, Voyager. Voyager is that the one around? Uh, that just left the solar system? No, no, no that wasn't Voyager. Right. Both Voyager one and Voyager two left yeah. the solar system. So this one's the one that's going around Saturn. Yeah, and it's and he had he downloaded those numbers, converted them to music. Yeah, and I believe the I believe there's 15 days worth of numbers, and each day it takes him eight minutes, eight hours, sorry, to process it. Yeah. on his computer and it's pretty wild sounding oh really yeah they did the first one with the mars lander about 27 years ago yeah and it's uh yeah. actually based uh, all the music of ace of bass yeah is based on that one was that Eno? was that brian Eno who did that somebody like that. i just made it up so i don't know 
It I wasn't didn't. Brian then. No, no. Then much we know. I just, okay. Yeah, it was Jim. Yeah, I did it. it. Jim. I did it. I came up with that was my secret. Yeah. Uh, mm. I just saw you doing the backstroke to uh, I'm not much a Mars. Sw- yeah. I'm not much of a swimmer. Oh. Well, I'm going to thank you. This is uh, this was enlightening. Yeah. Uh, your music. I'm going to go Likewise. back and listen to Igualmente. it. Igualmente. Yeah. Igualmente. Yeah. Equally. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Really? Okay. Yeah. Likewise. Yeah. I mean, it was funny when we were trying to go. We said, "Do not darken my door and ask you in Spanish." <laughs> don't darken my door. Do, do you? Do you do? Do you speak any Spanish? Yeah. Okay. Because <laughs> you do live there. Yeah. Okay. But, yeah. No, but my my. I'm, Are you in a witness protection program? Is that? <laughs> So you, this is a this is a red herring that you don't go over there and that you actually live in, like in uh, Hoboken. No, Peru or something <laughs> like that. Peru or or Ecuador. Okay, so you're just doing yeah. those things because it, you know. It'd be, Gabby, Gabby is her Spanish is great. She took uh, courses when we got over there. My restaurant Spanish. I'm fluent. So and you should listen to the subliminal, subliminal Spanish tapes. Just listen to it. Leave Spanish vocabulary on. Play it low. And, the thing and, is, and I, don't, I don't like Spanish that much. It's funny. He, it's it's a language. he says it all the you time. You don't. He likes French, don't. but he doesn't like Spanish. You know, I learned French in high school, college. I wish but, uh, I. Well, I mean, I, I was also French, yeah. but uh, that. I don't know disrupts why. my Spanish because of the yeah. similarity, and you're trying to learn another language. If I was, if I was perhaps Asian and spoke an Asian language and learned French, that would probably help me speak Spanish. French, but actually, being an English speaker and learning French and Spanish because of similarities and and getting trying to learn their patterns, it just yeah. threw me off. It's all motivation, it's, man. It depends what you want. So. Yeah. My niece is my niece is fluent in Arabic and Mandarin Chinese. Wow, yeah. impressive! Wow. How did she learn that? In college, she's a is she she's, a translator. She's an officer in uh, the United States Army. So. Yeah, that's good. We need yeah. people right. that well, like that. I'm going to give her name over. She's in U, uh, military intel. I'm going to give her. Yeah. Name. Hmm. Look after you, Joel, over there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about this. We'll talk about this after. What about? He oh, okay. He doesn't want this. Yeah, I have recorded been, what he's. Oh, been okay. okay. Oh, we're not here. Okay, we're gonna get off. All right. um, I'm gonna turn this off. So I think I think uh, you should hit the laugh track. Why? With your applause. Applause. Yeah, there we Jill- go. I want to thank Jill- uh, Gabby and Joel. Yeah. We'll be. Are we gonna do it next week? We'll check. We'll check next week. Okay. Yeah. We'll. Okay. Figure it out. Yeah. Okay. Goodbye for now. Thank you, everyone. Bye. For Bye. Take a bow. There you go. That's enough. Thank you. 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 Thank you.